DC Entertainment is dominating next season's TV lineup with seven shows on the slate, including the time travel focused Flash and Arrow spin off called DC's Legends of Tomorrow. We're chatting with the cast to find out what happens when heroes and villains team up to take on an evil immortal named Vandal Savage. So, first, can you tell us how does Jay Jackson fit into the DCCW universe? Well, Jay Jackson's a um, ex high school athlete who gets injured and is working as a mechanic. And, um, yeah, and then he gets involved. So you're playing Hawk Girl. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this character coming about and what can you tell us about her? I think what we're kind of looking to do is to meld some of the storylines that Hawk Girl's had over the years together. So um, it'll be kind of interesting. This is like her origin, I guess. We know we've gotten to get to know Captain Cold on The Flash, but what is the difference with your character now being in a totally different world on a different show? I think that there's something in Captain Cold, this kind of latent moral code that now that he's forced to interact with these good guys, may start to kind of take shape in a new and unexpected way. How early did you know that you were going to get to come back as Black Canary? Um, well, I'll say that I'm not coming back as Black Canary, but I am coming back as the White Canary. What? Your character now on Legends of Tomorrow doesn't necessarily have your other half. Oh, he'll be around. He'll be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've gotten to see the suit. Will we ever actually get to see you shrink? Well, we're going to learn a lot more after today's presentation. It sounds like it's going to be a team of heroes, but Heat Wave is not necessarily the guy you go to for heroes. I'm not sure if it's a team of heroes. I think it's a team of one hero versus a whole bunch of villains. You know, you need you need the yin and the yang, the good and the bad, to make it um, spark. Spark. <laughs> Heat wave. Heat wave. Full spark. of puns. What has it been like coming into the DCCW world? Oh, so amazing. The fans are so supportive. I get tweets every day with people so excited to see Hawk Girl, to see the show, to see everything. So how does your character fit into the world of Legends? She's going to be very interesting because of her circumstances and her backstory, she definitely is going to have dealt with some stuff that none of the other characters have. What is the relationship like with Heat Wave? That's where I'm having so much fun. I mean, me and Dominic have this kind of amazing built-in chemistry because we've worked together before, and I think it just feeds the characters dynamic and back and forth in a really enjoyable way. Wentworth and myself have already discussed how these guys will interact, and we're just going to do the same thing as we did in Prison Break, which was <laughs> He's the brains, I'm the muscle. Are you going to get powers at any point? Will you have some metal on your body? Well, we'll have to, when the show comes out, everyone will we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Rip will be a leader in a way because he knows the, the future and the past and being a time traveler. And Ray is there to, you know, usher everybody together and, and kind of help the villains and the heroes come together, I think, is, is part of Ray's role as leader, as business owner and all those things, you know, working with a team. He knows how to do that already. So. All of the shows really have their own vibe from Flash to Arrow. What is the overall feel that you think is going to happen for Legends of Tomorrow? You know, I think the diversity is what makes it special and the fact that obviously there's conflict in every show, but I think this affords so many greater levels of that. And also the, the cast they've assembled is, is very impressive. I'm very impressed to be a part of it. And uh, I thought you were about to say, yeah, I'm very impressive. Goes, I'm like, you goes. are. The whole thing about me working is, who am I working with every day? And who am I talking to every day? And, and I've been very lucky in my life to have worked with the best. And I, it, that continues. This season of DCTV is not over yet. Make sure you check out an all-new episode of iZombie on The CW tomorrow. And join the conversation on social media about next season using the hashtag DCTV.